This Smittybilt Gen 2 X20 10,000 pound winch with synthetic rope and wireless remote is for those of you that have a 1987 and up Wrangler and are looking for a waterproof, very well built winch that comes with a synthetic line on it. Now there are going to be winches all over the price range. This is going to be, in my opinion, a very fairly priced winch for the quality that you're getting and it does come out of the box with this synthetic line on it. Of course, there is a version of this winch with a steel cable and that is going to be a little bit less expensive. However, I really like a synthetic line on a winch for a couple of different reasons. The main reason that a synthetic line is a really nice upgrade is because it's a lot safer than a steel cable. While a synthetic line will still stretch like a steel cable will when it's under load, it doesn't store that energy. So if a synthetic line breaks, it falls to the ground. Whereas when a steel cable snaps, it will sling back and can hit a person, a vehicle, cause damage or injury. So again, the synthetic line is going to be a lot safer. The other reason I like synth is because it's going to be easier to handle. It's going to be lighter weight and it won't kink up like a steel cable will. So especially if you're dragging this up a steep, muddy hill, it's a lot easier to drag a synthetic line than it is a steel cable. Now, the only downside, if you want to call it that, of a synthetic line is that it is a little bit more maintenance. You do want to make sure that it stays very, very clean. And even if you take the best care of it, they do recommend that you change your synthetic line more often than your steel line. So there is a little bit more upkeep. Now, all in all, as I said, this is going to be a well-built winch. This is going to be a waterproof solenoid like I haven't seen from a lot of other companies before. So if you do a lot of deep water crossings, a lot of deep mud off-roading, this is going to be a nice option for you. There are a couple different parts to a winch. Here you have the winch body itself, which of course is Smittyville's Gen 2 winch body. It's gonna be very sleek, very modern looking, and of course sealed up so it is completely waterproof. Up here you do of course have a clutch engagement handle so that you can very easily free spool out the line if you were to need to do that to make it a little bit easier and quicker to get the line attached to whatever you're winching off of. Over here you have your solenoid box and that can be mounted in one of two different locations on the winch, either on the side of the winch body here or in the center up over top of the spool. If you did want to get some longer wires, you could of course remote mount that solenoid box, but because this thing is waterproof, having it up on the front here isn't really going to hurt anything. You have a on off and wireless switch on the side of the solenoid box, which leads me right into the fact that you have two different controllers with this winch built into one. A lot of other winches that have a wireless remote will have one wireless remote here and then have a wired remote, which is your backup remote over here. So you really have two to keep track of. What Smittybilt did is really nice. They built one remote that can be wireless if you have it unplugged and you have a battery in it. That way you can take this with you, use it from a safe distance away from the vehicle, or if you're close enough, if you want to be wired, if the batteries die, you can simply plug this into the cable, plug the cable into the winch body itself, and you have a wired remote, but you're really only keeping track of one remote instead of two, which is really nice. The other thing that I like that Smittybilt did was labeling all of their connections. Now, there are only a few connections from the solenoid onto the winch body itself, and then from the solenoid up to the battery, but these are all labeled with letters. They all have tags on them, on both the body and on the wires themselves, which make getting this installed a very simple process. Installing a winch is very simple, a one out of three wrench installation and only about an hour's time to get this bolted up. Of course, you will have to have either a winch ready bumper or a winch plate on your bumper that will accept this winch beforehand, but that's standard across the board for all winches. And this is going to have a standard winch footprint, so it'll fit on most any of those bumpers or winch plates. The first step is going to be mounting your winch body onto your winch plate or your bumper, and there are just a couple of bolts that you'll need to get that bolted down and in place. Then you can go ahead and install your solenoid box, run all of your wires from the solenoid to the winch body, and finally your positive and negative through your grill, along your fender well, and up to your battery to pick up power for the winch. After that, it's just a matter of attaching your synthetic line onto the drum, firing everything up, and spooling it in. Now you are gonna to wanna to spool this in under a little bit of a load. It's always a good idea to attach the other end of your rope to a tree, set your parking brake on your Jeep to a click or two and leave it in neutral. So there's a little bit of tension on the line that's going to keep you from pulling one wrap of the winch cable 
through the lower reps when you're actually using this out on the trail. This winch will run you right around $550, and I do think that's a fair price for what you're getting. That is the going rate for a synthetic line winch that has a wireless remote in this category. And the fact that you're getting a waterproof solenoid box, something that is going to hold up really well out in the weather or for those deep water crossings or those guys that like a lot of mud, this thing is going to be very, very well built. Of course, you can step up to a much more expensive winch that's gonna have a few more bells and whistles on it, but for the price range, I do think you're getting a lot of quality. So if you're looking for a waterproof winch that has a synthetic line and a wireless remote, I definitely recommend taking a look at this Smittybilt X20 10,000 pound that you can get right here at extremeterrain.com.